If you're even a little bit afraid of spiders, do yourself a favor and never, ever plan a trip to Mars. In March 2025, NASA's Perseverance rover spotted something that made even seasoned scientists do a double take. It looked like a clutch of spider egg shundreds of tiny, round, dusty orbs fused together just sitting there on a Martian hillside like they'd been laid overnight. The image went viral. Was this proof that something alive had touched the red planet, or worse was still there? Of course, the scientists had a more rational explanation, kind of. But this wasn't the only bizarre thing they found on Mars. From massive spider-shaped cracks to a perfect rock doorway, from teddy bear faces to flowers made of minerals, Mars is full of creepy illusions, weird science, and maybe, just maybe, secrets we're not ready to find. When the image first hit NASA's data feed, it almost didn't look real. Nestled on a Martian hill called Witch Hazel, the Perseverance rover had captured a formation so odd, it sparked wild speculation. Dozens, maybe hundreds of tiny spheres, all packed together like a twisted alien nursery. Social media dubbed them spider eggs, and it wasn't long before the theory started flying. Some joked about a Martian infestation, others weren't so sure it was a joke. But when scientists zoomed in for a better look, the truth was less terrifying, but no less strange. The clump wasn't alive. It was just a rock. A really unusual one, with a knobbly surface texture unlike anything else nearby. The team named it St. Paul's Bay. And it wasn't even from where it was found it was what scientists call a float rock, meaning it had somehow moved from its original home. And that's where the mystery deepens. Because for a rock to travel on Mars, something powerful has to move it. Was it a meteor strike? A landslide? Volcanic activity? No one knows for sure. But one thing is clear, this wasn't your average piece of Martian rubble. And the weirdness didn't stop there. Rocks don't just roll around on Mars for fun. So how did it get there? One theory is explosive, literally. Scientists think it might have been created during a massive meteor impact. Imagine a cosmic projectile slamming into the surface with such force that it blasts chunks of the planet high into the air. As the debris cools mid-flight, it forms odd textures like the tiny orb seen in this rock before, crashing back down miles away. If that's the case, St. Paul's Bay could have traveled a long way before landing on Witch Hazel Hill. And if we can trace where it came from, it might reveal secrets about past impacts, underground conditions, or even Martian geology itself. Another theory is more down to Mars. Some believe the rock may have tumbled down from one of the darker layers higher up the hill. Those layers have been spotted in satellite images, but never examined up close. So now, NASA wants to compare them to the spider egg-like rock. If they're made of the same material, it could mean there was once volcanic activity in the region, or groundwater, or most intriguingly conditions that supported microbial life. If that's true, this bizarre-looking rock might be holding ancient secrets we've only just begun to scratch. But this wasn't the first time something on Mars gave scientists the creeps. Long before the so-called spider eggs showed up, scientists were already haunted by something eerily similar only much bigger. In fact, these Martian spiders have been creeping across satellite images since 2003. Spotted in Mars's southern polar regions, these strange black patterns stretch out like spindly spider legs, some covering areas as wide as 3,000 feet. Seen from above, they look like giant alien arachnids crawling across the red sands. But they're not living creatures, they're surface scars left by one of Mars's wildest natural processes. Here's how it works. During the Martian spring, sunlight hits the surface, warming up a thick sheet of dry ice that's frozen carbon dioxide, not regular water ice. As the light filters through the ice, it heats the ground underneath. That trapped warmth causes the dry ice to suddenly sublimate meaning. It skips the liquid phase and turns straight into gas. The pressure builds fast beneath the surface until the ice bursts. The explosion sends gas shooting upward, carving cracks through the ground and flinging dark Martian dust into the air. What's left behind? Those chilling spider-like patterns that make it look like the planet's been overrun by creepy crawlers. Even crazier NASA managed to recreate this exact process on Earth. And that experiment proved something scientists have been trying to figure out for over five years. After years of speculation, NASA scientists were desperate to know, could they recreate these Martian spiders here on Earth? The answer came in 2021, and it was a breakthrough no one saw coming. Using a barrel-sized chamber, 
nicknamed Dusty, researchers simulated the frigid, low-pressure conditions of Mars. Inside, they layered fake Martian soil and topped it with slabs of CO2 ice. Then, they mimicked the Martian sun with a strong lamp shining from below. The results were instant and stunning. Gas began to build up beneath the ice, just like on Mars. Then, with a sudden release, it burst through the surface, dragging soil and dust with it. When the team pulled back the layers, they found something jaw-dropping. Tiny, perfect spider formations, just like the ones orbiters had spotted on the red planet. But that wasn't even the weirdest part. The team discovered that the ground beneath the ice had frozen too and when it cracked along with the top layer, it created zigzagging legs instead of straight ones. That tiny detail might finally explain why Martian spiders look so bizarre and asymmetrical. And while the experiment was a huge win, it also raised new questions. Why do these spiders only show up in certain parts of Mars, and why aren't they becoming more common? After all these strange rocks, spider-like patterns, and mysterious formations, the big question still hangs in the air. Did life ever exist on Mars? Scientists haven't found any direct proof yet. No fossils, no alien critters, no Martian ET. But every discovery adds a piece to the puzzle, hinting that the red planet was once more Earth-like than we ever imagined. And with NASA's planned missions to bring back Martian rock samples in the 2030s, we could soon be closer than ever to uncovering hidden signs of past life. For now, Mars keeps teasing us with its mysteries, reminding us that space is full of surprises. What looks like spider eggs might be a rock with a story, but that's exactly what makes exploring Mars so exciting the unknown. And who knows, maybe the next big reveal is just around the corner, waiting to rewrite everything we thought we knew. If this sparked your curiosity, hit like, share this journey with your friends, and dive into more videos to keep uncovering the secrets of the universe.